Let's take a look at the 24 yard line and see how the shot differs a little bit from here. As we shoot this particular target, we're going to be very mindful again. Good stance, good setup, good mechanics. Again, 10 o'clock with the shoulder, 2 o'clock with the midline of the body. I'm going to establish my hold point and focus area out there again relative to the yardage that I am shooting. As I come back, I know that the angle has changed a little bit, so my hold point is going to be a little bit lower than it was up there at the 20. So be very, very cautious and, and look at that. Don't keep it up there at the same height as what you're going to do is cause this gun a little bit of vertical move and end up shooting over a lot of these targets. As we do that, we're going to make a good solid setup here. We're going to shoot a couple. Let's take a look at one. Ball. Again. <clears throat> what you saw there was good proper shooting mechanics put to good use on that target. At the beginning you saw a good solid still gun. Eyes were still, gun barrel was still. As I made the call for the target, you saw the target clear the gun barrel, you saw the little bit of the forward press right to that target. As the target cleared the gun barrel, putting itself into proper shooting position, me taking the gun right to the 6 o'clock position, allowing the manufactured point of impact to do its job, Again, producing that good, solid smoke target. Now, kind of in a recap, we've come from position one with our left foot. We've started in that first position. We've closed a quarter foot width when we've come to position two. Now we're coming to position three. And as I instructed in there on the board, this is going to be a neutral position. So you're going to set up at that 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock position, just like your singles, just like your handicap, and just like your doubles. Again, Good sound setup position, very important to delivering both shots accurately. We're going to take our hold point position, and as I showed on the board, we're going to shift it out off of the right hand front corner and up just a little bit so that I can keep the target line, the barrel line, and the body line soft and, and, and very subtle into that line. I don't want the gun barrel making a very rapid move or an aggressive move to the right as it may have a tendency to push me to my back foot and cause this gun to recoil up and away from my second target. Now I'm going to shoot this pair right and left. I'm a two-eyed shooter and what it's going to do is give me a good field of vision as I come back to my left side. If I were a one-eyed shooter I would probably shoot this pair left-right as I would make sure that the good eye has the entire field of vision coming back to the right. So two-eyed shooter, right-handed, I'm going to shoot this pair right and left for you. Again, what I'd like for you to watch is good sound setup application here at the feet, good position to the target, to the second target. Now there's not going to be a lot of rotation onto the left foot, but it is going to be more of a press to the target, a little slight turn and a press to the second target. Let's see how that looks. Ball. Again, two solidly smoked targets. Again, you saw the hold point position in relationship to the background, creating that angle of point of impact and target angle. What that allowed me to do again, a nice subtle press to the target, delivering the first shot, equating that thought process to make sure that I look and read the second target, focusing solidly on the leading edge or that eight o'clock position of that target, allowing the gun to travel in a nice parallel manner right to that outside left edge and delivering the shot correctly.